Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to make a 4 cell NICAD battery charger. With this project, we can charge 4 NICAD cells. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. First, let's see how this circuit works. The circuit uses a voltage comparator. A reference signal of 3 volt is given to inverting input of the comparator with the help of a 3 volt Zener in diode. The battery voltage is given to the non-inverting input of the comparator with a voltage divider made with a resistor and a trim pot. The required cutoff voltage can be set with this trim pot. A PNP transistor used as a switch to cut off the charge voltage when battery is fully charged. Now let's see the connections of this circuit. These are all the components we are gonna need for this project. First, I'm gonna connect LM393 IC and connect its pin number 8 to positive supply and its pin number 4 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 22K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 1 of the IC and its other pin to pin number 3 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 8 of the IC and its other pin to pin number 1 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 3V Zena diode and connect its cathode to pin number 2 of the IC and its anode to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of the IC and its other pin to pin number 8 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5K trim pot and connect its one side pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 3 of the IC and its other pin to center pin of the trim pot. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to remaining pin of the trim pot. After that, I'm gonna connect a BC557 transistor and connect its pin number 3 to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 1 of the IC and its other pin to pin number 2 of the transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect an LED and connect its anode to remaining pin of the 100 ohm resistor and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply after that, I'm gonna connect an LED and connect its cathode to ground and its anode to remaining pin of 100 ohm resistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its anode to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to cathode of the diode. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to cathode of the diode. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to cathode of the diode. After that, I'm gonna connect a 4 cell battery or connect 4 batteries in series and connect its positive wire to remaining pin of 100 ohm resistors and its negative pin to ground. So these were the connections. Now let's assemble this circuit on a prep board.
So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.